Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Apex Legends Season 7. Uh, now the game is just released to Steam. My first guide was for the Season 1 on Origin, so it's been a long time. Uh, so I will update the guide. So we're going to start with Windows. We're going to make sure that uh, Windows is properly optimized for uh, video games. So the first thing that you need to write is your game mode. Write your game mode in the search bar. I recommend to turn off the game mode. It's causing stuttering. You're losing sometimes FPS. Sometimes you're gaining some. But honestly, it's pain in the ass. Just remove it. Uh, your game will be a lot stable. Xbox game bar. Make sure that your Xbox game bar is at off. And also, don't use any overlay. Discord overlay, Nvidia overlay, whatever overlay that you're currently using. The one on Origin, just remove that. Uh, you're losing FPS and also it's causing stuttering. Capture, make sure that your background recording is at off, recorded audio is at off, and that's pretty much it. Another thing really important, make sure that you update your driver, so make sure that you have the latest driver from Nvidia, AMD, and even Intel. If you have an integrated video card on your CPU, make sure that you have the latest driver because the uh, update over there with Windows is just to make sure that your screen is recognizing your uh, GPU. Uh, you're not getting like some gaming driver, so make sure that you download uh, the one from Intel. One more thing that you can do if you have the latest version of Windows 10, it's called uh, Write GPU. So it's called Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Make sure that you put this one at on re and restart your computer to make sure it's applying. Uh, I have a dedicated video on this explaining what it's doing. Honestly, you will see a difference if you have like a low-end computer, I know laptop or even a mid-range computer, but that it's pretty old. You will see like three to four percent boost in your FPS. If you have like a last gen like computer or an high-end computer, you will not see any difference with this. One more thing with Apex, uh, Apex Legion is running on DirectX 11, so you can do some optimization over there. Click properties on the game, go to local file, browse local file, so it will open this. On the execute file, right click on it, click properties, go to compatibility. Make sure that you disable full screen optimization is checked over there. Click change IDPI setting and make sure override IDPI scaling behavior is checked. Press OK, press OK. So now we will open the game and we will optimize the graphic parameter inside of the game. So now inside of the game, first of all, weird stuff. I don't remember if it was like that in Origin, but my game is like at 28 FPS in the menu. But just here, like when I open a chest, I will be at 144. And also when I go to my setting, I'm getting 144 and pretty much the same thing in the game. So it's just like the menu itself, a bit weird. So let's start with video. First of all, display mode. Make sure you're playing full screen. Really important in this game. Borderless was causing me issue. Uh, I was getting like stuttering. So go with full screen. Aspect, aspect ratio, it really depends on your preference. If you like want to play 4x3 because you're a triard that's coming from like uh, Rainbow Six or uh, Counter Strike, you can do it. But this is pretty much where you can change it. Resolution, make sure that you're playing native, uh, don't over upscale, don't downscale necessarily, depending like if you really need your 60 FPS, maybe you will have to downscale, but go with your native resolution. Feel of view, I'm playing at 90, I really like my FPS game in 90. If you go higher, you will lose FPS because you will see more in front of you and you will need more resources to render the game, so that's why you're gonna lose a couple of FPS, but not a lot. Spring view shake, I'm going with minimal, but it doesn't change anything with my FPS. It's more a preference thing. V-Sync, uh, put disable, you don't want any input lag, so that's why I'm going with disable. I just disable my uh, V-Sync. Anti-aliasing, uh, in this game you don't have a lot of options. You have TS, AA or none. Uh, it dep depends on your com on your computer, but it's like a difference between three to four percent if you're using TSAA versus none. So me, I'm using it. I don't have any issue with it. But uh, if you're struggling with your 60, probably you will need to remove this. Texture streaming budget and texture filtering. Honestly, just follow the VRAM over there. So you have four VRAM and more. Go with eight gig and 16. If you have six, go with eight x six. Four gig. Pretty much the same thing for X4, 3 gig, go a little bit lower, 2 gig, go a little bit lower, and when you're at very low or none, go with billion nil. 
Billionaire, sorry. So you just want to know how many VRAM you have on your Cupido card. I like games when they just put like some kind of like... Um, not a roam map, like, like a, some kind of like a indication where you are with your VRAM and what is your maximum on your video card. But in this one, you really need to figure it out how much VRAM you have on your video card. Ambient occlusion quality, this one really important. If I compare I2 disable, you will gain 8 to 10% in your FPS. So really important. Sun shadow coverage, sun shadow detail and spot shadow detail, low, low and disable, you will gain another 8% in your FPS. So that's huge. Volumetric lighting, enable to disable 3% over there. Dynamic spot shadow, uh, enable to disable, you will gain 3 to 4%, so that's why everything is disabled over there. Model detail, you will gain high versus medium, you will gain 2 FP, uh, 2%, and medium to low, uh, 1%, so that's why I'm going with medium. Effect uh, detail, this one is more, um, it, you will not necessarily get more FPS, it's more like when you're fighting, you see explosion and stuff like that. If you're seeing your FPS drop, go a little bit lower and if you're still dropping go with low again if you have like a low-end computer laptop integrate video card don't start with high go with medium and after that you can drop to low impact mark me i'm using high. i i want to see when i shoot and i want to see like the the effect of it and where i shoot um it's gonna take some resources on your cpu so if you're struggling with your cpu go with low and if you have a really like low-end cpu you will probably need to disable this but you really need like a low-end cpu to disable this finally ragdoll go with low this one takes up more resources than an impact mark on your cpu it's taking a lot of resources on your cpu so go with something at low and medium and honestly it doesn't like advantage you in a vr so you don't really care about ragdoll so just go with low so that's about it guys for the guide if you have any questions just come in in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace